Okay, um, let's see what a Twister 3 with 34 grains of uh, steel behind it will do. We've seen 30 grains, uh, and that was like 1150. <laughs> Borderline subsonic-ish kind of territory. So, let's see what this will do. Well, just the skim of it. That's my 1186 with more grains, more powder. There's wow, a stray. Um, and one of them almost went leaking out. Ah, come on. Tell it. Pretty nasty wind channel. Um. Ah, just a little too deep to just pluck out. Oh, one came out. Oh, one came out the side too. So it definitely um, fragmented. Just that very first one I shot didn't fragment. <sighs> wow. I expected more um, velocity. I was told steel was high velocity, low pressure, but I'm not seeing the velocity out of it. Hmm, interesting. Oh, okay, maybe I can get it out. It's just ripping through. Yep, it fully fragmented though. All right. Pushy last week I had a really cool shot that um, got missed where that front block got stood right up on end. That was 34 grains of long shot. Oh, let's uh, see what else I got. It's at one time 30, 30 grains of steel ended up way in here. So it really makes me wonder. Um, oh. <laughs> I caught right at the top. Yep, and it just flung right off. <laughs> wow. Okay. okay. I need to aim a little different with that. Below it this time. Okay. Let's see what this one did. It hit. Okay, that's with 30 grains. Just below the previous one. That's with 30 grains of long shot versus. With another straight. Or, or not the long shot, um, steel versus 34. It actually well, followed the same path as the previous one, just lower. Yeah, I mean, for all intents and purposes. It's identical mm. penetration. Um, I forgot my tape measure. It's about eh, two and a half inches shy of 16. So about 14 and a half, I'll have to measure it in a bit. I mean, I hit right here. Um, my red dot is I'm pointing over here. Vertically, I'm good. Horizontally, I'm off. So but yeah, um, After this remelt, you can see what's happening better. And yeah, wound channel, yucky. Ooh. One, I think that one was in there. Two, three pieces. Yeah. Um. Now, let's see what else I got. Gonna make a mess of it. Again, got a Penta with 34 grains of uh, um, steel behind it to try. Let's see what that does for it. Twister Penta, 34 grains of steel, 1293. 
I almost went into the Dang. second one. Actually, just made it to the <laughs> second one. Look, look. You can actually see it. Just made it. Whoops. Following the similar path. Yeah. Ah, and again, I but forgot a my... more di diagonal line angle. Once again, I forgot my uh, tape measure. Well, we'll get after. It's like about three quarters can of an inch into the second though? one. Um, yeah. Should be able to pull this one out. Not much trouble. Right? It's between two walls. Yeah, just in there. And, whoa. Whoops. One exited here. One there. One down there. Looks like one exited here. I'm wondering how many exited there, because, boy, there's looks like three striations going, but... Let's see this. Still kind of hard to tell. Huh. Well. I think that's pretty much got of that. Torn up enough for now. Let me get my... Uh, Tape measure. All right, let's see. That first one, 14 and a quarter. The second one is about 14 and a half. So 30 grains went a quarter inch farther than 34 grains. But your guess is as good as mine. And the other one is uh, that penta went in about 16 and a half or so. All right. Got one uh, with 34 grains of one shot in it. Um, try. See how it compares to the uh, steel. That one flew much higher. Than I ever expected. It didn't skin it. Oh well, you know, you'll have that. Okay, I got one with 34 grains of steel. Penta. What? Oh, and just above that too. Look. Hmm. And just above that one too. You'll miss both of them. That was funny. Okay, this super or subsonic one shoots completely different. Yeah, you you would re you would have to readjust the table. See, one, two, three, four. Oh. Or at least bring the block over to I this did end. Hit. Come here. Somewhere I hit some, I hit because this one. Yeah, this one. Remember? Yeah, there's one below it too, though. Mm. There's there's two right below, and I think they both skipped out. 25 grains of long shot behind a twister three penta. That's around 11.50. Yeah, it's twisted around 10 and three quarter inches in. Everything broke up though. Still a bit of wound channel. I've got one here. That one and this one? I'm not sure. No, one came. Looks like one came out the top. One there. And. Not sure. Um, if I'm making rid right of it, that one. So, wow. Let's see. What did the big, the longest fragment came to? Uh, 14 inches. The other one is 12 and a half, 12 and five eighths, and 
from one escape. Borderline subsonic. They're still pretty effective. Not sure if I got anything else to play with. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remelt this one again by the time I'm done. Let's see if there's anything else to throw at this that I haven't haven't done so so far. I'm not sure. To be quite honest. Well, that's it for slugs. Okay. Let's try a 62 grain swage at 50 yards. Um, last week I'm thinking it might not have been 50 yards. I may have measured it wrong. Maybe my number reading skills were off, but these tables seem a little farther apart than they did. Um, anyway, this is going to be precision 25 grains. So I'm slowing them down. Hopefully to about 2600 and see how they, um, how they act. Um, versus, well, last week's, um, with, uh, Accurate 2230 at uh, closer to 2800. Maybe the mushroom. And I do think there's a little more distance here. 10 yards or more, maybe. Almost 2700 feet per second. Ouch. Um. Whoa. I didn't bring my measuring, but it's almost through. <laughs> so probably about 15 and a half, 15 three quarter. It's the main bit. It's jacket here. Um yeah. Kinda cool. Let's see what uh I think 24 grains does. Ooh, wow. Really? That wasn't cracked before. It was cracked here, but not here. I have to check and see if it was like this before I swapped everything around. I don't think it was. That's crazy. If that had enough shock wave to crack crack this. And this is um it's real wood. <laughs> Five inch thick. Maybe old and dry, but oh my. It hit uh about an inch to the left of that that crack. <laughs> My son says that crack wasn't there when we moved this table back. So I'll have to check the footage. Okay. Huh. It didn't go nearly as far. Oh, once again, I forgot my stupid tape measure. But, um... Gavity, I would say. Um, yeah. Look at the how much longer that wound cavity is, and then it starts fragment at the end of it. Maybe at the beginning, I don't know, but you can see it at the end of this one. And uh, well, it's substantially um, less penetration. Um. The wound cavity started about the same depth in, though. But, yeah, where this one's tapering off, that one is not. <sighs> Let me go get my uh, tape measure. All right, let's see what we got. That first one went in. They're 15 and 3 quarter. What it looks like. Anyway, let's see what happens if I roll this out of the way. Wow. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's um right there. Yeah. It is fifteen and three quarter anyway. Um, adding a little speed, well we see the trade-off. And that is a 
11 and an 8th, roughly. Eh, 11, 11, 11, and an 8th. Wow. Man, that cracked it all the way back. Wish I had slow mo to see what that um, ex the gel expansion was to do that. That would be cool because um, I expected a slug to do that. Maybe it started it. I don't know. But the slugs were kind of high in the gel, and that two two three was kind of low. Um, well, actually, it was. and an eighth inches from the bottom of the um, gel so like that low it was almost midway yeah oh I just noticed that I've set this on the side usually notice the VFG recast the top is concave just flipped it around I kind of rolled it so I have to remember that all right it's enough for one day down and dirty breakdown of uh, these uh, 223 62 grain soybean bullets here. Um, this was the the slow deep penetration one. Put that. Okay. Ugh. Crap. Try to get a good view of it, but it's not being cooperative. This one to it. It's you know getting dime size. Uh, when I measured it, the widest point was uh, 0.556, and um, I can't remember what the narrowest was. Gel leaves a um. Slippery. There's point four. Oh, five, five, seven. The widest point. It's a dime. Point seven oh six, seven oh seven. And A lot of jacket there. 56.6 out of 62 grain is not bad. And there's some gel in there. So, yeah. There's a little more loss than that. Still. Six or seven, even eight grains. Uh, I'm not going to complain. That's pretty good retention. And if I recall, that was somewhere around 2,700 feet per second. 26, 27, I can't remember, I have to look and roll it in, but yeah, um, it goes about here. And this was the quick, <laughs> the faster, 100-ish feet per second, 2,800 feet, I think. I don't know, I have to look again, I just don't remember offhand. Uh, this is all the retention from that. Um, not fantastic. Let's see. <laughs> 15.8 grains out of 62, 15.7, okay, it adjusted, um, yeah, not fantastic, it's a pretty atrocious loss, um, but that lost, I mean, through here, there was a whole bunch of little shrapnel, you know, three, four, five grain, uh, pieces, just all through here, right as right as this is collapsing they spread out i wonder if the closing of you know the shock waves um does that i don't know anything about that but that'd be interesting to know because the other one exhibited a similar kind of thing where where this doing cavity is closing down all of a sudden you're seeing shrapnel um popping out um, but yeah I, I cut it so we could see a little better what these wound channels um, look like uh, 
this was the the fast low penetration ish and this is the um the slower longer penetration where the exit where this it collapsed then it came out a little bit we got some pieces and then it it just yeah, a little bit where this one came in did its thing and it went away but it took longer for it to go away it closed down um, these are bookmarks so this just flip right onto it um I mean uh, this is this this is the um the fast shorter one and pretty much that's all here I didn't I didn't cut into this one into the slow deep penetration one in this Let's see if we can get a better look a lot of destroying things not the best knife but it's what I got In either case, a bit painful. Um, <laughs> guess um, eventually I have to try moving out to 100 yards or something. Maybe I have to make up some heavier bullets, um, see how they do, because this, these are in a 22 long rifle um, uh, brass, just like those 55s that. Um, Elvis shot which mushroomed lovely uh, at like 2800 feet per second I don't know what distance but still those all of them mushroomed <laughs> something like this so um, yeah there's a lot more testing to be done I guess um, and yeah you get up heavier uh, 75 grain 77 that kind of thing um, 22 wind mag 17 HMR um, brass is thicker so you have to see how, how that holds up um, you know since it's, it's a thicker brass it should you know deal with things a little better but they're longer so the twist you know it, we're gonna have a little a little something to say <laughs> everything's gonna have its um, effect on it ah, just gotta get my money's worth out of these <laughs> and um, well, the fun factor is uh, part of that you know it's fun to see what's really going on and uh, yeah versus water jugs they look cool impressive and stuff but all you know is that it penetrated that water jug enough to, um, you know, break it open, do a little hydraulic, I forget the real word, usually we say hydrostatic, but <laughs> um, you know the thing. Um, it does its glorious, uh, you know, explosion, and that's all we know. We can see the energy transfer, but we can't see um, what kind of penetration we got, unless it goes multiple water jugs. And then still, we just know it went into the second or third or fourth, but not how far. And the, um, the shot minis not shot this time showed that gel and water jugs tell two different stories um, the gel is not flesh or anything you know um, they don't penetrate a whole lot they just expand poof 
<laughs> just fragment everywhere. Uh, cut a nice little hole in a few inches. Now, which one is more, you know, representative? Uh, could be representative. There's a word for it, you know. Um, of reality, that's, that's what I'd like to know. What other than an actual meat target, uh, because I don't have access to that, um, I might have to try to find a butcher that uh, would give me the bad stuff. But at this point, I don't have that access. Uh, to see, okay, how well does this represent, you know, a meat target versus a water jug? Is there, you know, somewhere in between, or do you need them all? To... And this is just a a consistent medium for people to get, you know, consistent results. Toying with the idea of putting a water jug in front of the block and testing those shot minis and see if after it hits that water jug if it will penetrate the block well i've recovered um looks like about 52.7 grains of uh that fast one uh, about 10 grains or so difference spread out all over the place okay um i did find a couple pieces of jacket could go with this, uh, but still, there's some gel in this one. What do we got? 57.2. So I'm still saying there's about 55, probably, of actual give or take, but that's probably more, more along the lines. There's probably about seven grains or so lost, which still, it's pretty acceptable, I would say.